What's up guys? It's John. Hope you're all doing well. Hey, in this video, I am checking out the heavy side of the Line 6 Pod HD 500X. I'm checking out the amp models that are the best suited for hard rock and metal. Now, first things first, um, in the description below, there's a table of contents and you can skip around in the video to the parts that are the most relevant to you. As for gear, I'm going to be playing through my Schecter Omen 8 string guitar and I'm going to be plugged straight into the pod and I have two XLRs out of the pod into my audio interface recorded direct into the computer so I'm not using any real amps for this. So let's get started. Okay so here's my 500X. Now this video should still be fairly applicable to other models in the pod HD series. So, Line 6 arranges the amp models more or less from lowest gain to highest gain. I feel like we start to get to the heavy stuff once we hit the Marshall JCM 800. Now, when Line 6 makes all these amp models, they're designing them after actual real amps that are on the market. You know, they're, they're really imitating actual sounds, but because of licensing and copyright and all that, they can't really use like actual brand names or model names, so they kind of have to like code the names or like change them up a little bit. So as I scroll through my amp models here, I'm looking for the one that's called Brit J800. Now that to me sounds like a Marshall JCM 800. Let's turn the gain down a little bit. Here's what it sounds like at a you know, lower gain. Now, that's not exactly face-melting distortion there. The JCM 800 is actually a fairly versatile amp that, you know, at lower gain can actually work really well for blues as well as like every subgenre of rock there ever was. Now, let's turn the drive up a little bit more. Here it is about 2 o'clock-ish. Alright, that's a little bit more like it. And if I just turn it all the way up... Here's what more of a lead sound would sound like. Not too shabby. All right, let's see what the next amp model is. Next up, it says Bomber Uber. Now, uh, using my little detective skills, I feel like this is an imitation of the Wagner Uber Shawl. So let's see what this sounds like. Bring the gain to about 10 o'clock-ish. Sounds pretty great, even at that low gain level. You can hear the difference between the Bogner and the Marshall. You can hear how much uh, more brightness we get with this one, and even like more distortion. We're kind of picking up where the JCM left off. Uh, turn the drive up. And then drive all the way up. Lead tone. Pretty awesome tone there from that Bogner. Next up is what Line 6 calls Tread Plate. I would imagine this would be a model of a Mesa Boogie. Probably like a dual rectifier. You can hear as we go from amp model to amp model how much like the EQ of each model you know differs from the next. Here's more gain. Up. 
awesome tone. That's one of my favorites on the pod. All right, next up, we have Angel F-Ball. Um, I would imagine this would be like an angle fireball. Let's see how this sounds at lower gain. You can hear how much darker that tone is compared to the Mesa Boogie. Uh, turn up the gain a little bit. And all the way. Now, next up, we have a few Line 6 kind of custom amp models. This one's the Line 6 Electrics. Let's see how this sounds. Add gain. This one sounds like almost like just slightly filtered, you know, and all the way up. Probably need a noise gate for that one and probably like a lot of EQing to EQ some of the treble down. Alright, next up we get to this, um, they say Sold 100 and there's actually um, three amp models that they have here. They have a clean, a crunch, and an overdrive. I'm going to jump straight to the overdrive here. Um, now I would imagine that this would be some kind of Soldano amp model. Probably the slow 100, most likely. Uh, but let's see how this thing sounds at a lower gain level here. A little less gamey than some of the other amp models that we've heard, but a nice tight sound. Let's turn up the drive a bit. Now to finish up, the heavy amp models are two Line 6 custom amp models. Uh, this one is called Doom. So let's check this guy out. Lower drive setting. Sweet. You know, I don't know what it is about those Line 6 ones. They just sound like just a little bit more filtered than uh, the other amp models. And then finally we have the Line 6 Epic. So let's try it at a low gain.
All right, sweet. So those are all of what I would consider to be the heaviest amp models on the 500X. So now that you have an idea of how those amp models sound, I'm gonna take the second half of this video and I'm gonna do a playthrough with a backing track of each of these amp models so you can get a feel for how they would sound in a mix or you know in a live setting. So you're gonna hear drums, one rhythm guitar, and then one lead guitar. And that's it. I'm really not going to be like EQing or adding compression or any of that. It's just going to be um, just real, uh, real true to what comes out of the pod. All right, enjoy.
Okay guys, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Let me know that it helped you out. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I think I have like 51 subscribers currently. So who's going to be that number 52? Come on guys. Alright, until next time, see you later.